have you ever tried to jump on a trampoline while it's rolling down a dirt road? Or have you tried to take your garden hose and shoot the water at an angle? Sounds pretty fun, right? You may think it's almost impossible at first, but no, it's just an example of physics. Particularly, one of the great examples of quantum motion. What do we mean when we say projectile motion? Projectile motion is the motion of an object thrown or projected into the air, subject only the acceleration of gravity. The objects are called projectile and its paths are called trajectory. Wait, did I mention the word motion? Mostly when we talk about motion, people think of a straight line motion, like a toy car traveling across the table or a stone falling from the second floor of the building to the ground. But actually, motion can be both vertical and horizontal where they seem to be independent. Often these two motion are intertwined when an object moves both horizontally and vertically. Projectile motion in this sense can be illustrated. For example, if I will throw this crumbled paper into the air, what do you think will happen? Why does this crumbled paper falls back into the ground? Let's take another example. Notice, if I shoot the water of this garden hose, the initial velocity of the water is the same no matter what angle it is launched at. The water that goes up into the air will create parabolic path and it will go in down using two dimensions, vertical and horizontal. We can conclude in this experiment that the velocity in x direction which is our v is constant and the velocity in y direction which is our vy changes with respect to its position. There is no other acceleration governing to this kind of motion but only the acceleration due to gravity which is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared. For the distances, there are only two displacements that we should give attention. These are the maximum height where the garden hose velocity along y direction is zero and the distance travel of the water from the garden hose during its flight. These claims can be supported by Newton's first law of motion inertia, which states that object at rest will remain at rest if left alone and that object in motion tends to slow down unless force is exerted to make it move. In order to fully understand the concept of projectile motion, we can solve this by deriving its formula. This equation defines the vertical and horizontal motion of a projectile. Using this set of equations, we can analyze and understand more about projectile motion. For the case of garden hose, we can draw that a projectile motion can be done using two different dimensions and it was acted upon motion by its own inertia and its influence by the downward force of gravity. Science can be doubting sometimes. It is all about experiments and assumptions, but always bear in mind that science is always answers to your whereabouts and what ifs. So, if you want to grow in your lifetime, cultivate your curiosity.